Hello, hello. Hello, hello, people. Good evening, students from basic module two at English Corporativo. Hello, hello folks. teacher. Hey, Erbin, how's it going, Erbin? Hello, teacher. Good evening. How is it going, sir? How are you? I'm fine, teacher, today. Oh, yeah? I'm happy you are connected in the class, Mr. Moran. Thank you, teacher. How is work, Mr. Moran? How is work? Yes, today, teacher. How? How is work? Yes, teacher. Is it difficult? Is it exciting? Is it tiring? How is work? Ah, it's tiring, teacher. I imagine, I imagine. Okay. Hello, guys. Hi, students. Okay, I have an important message for you on the chat. It's a permission. Um, so, 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 I have Miss Patricia. Hello, welcome to the class. What a Hi, pleasure. Teacher. How are you? I'm fine, teacher, and you? A little sick. Honestly, I am a little um, ill, but I can teach the class. I I can I can try my best. But um, you, how are you? I am fine. You had uh, a good so, weekend. Um. Uh, yes. Cool. Yes, I had a what did you do? Weekend. Um. I just to en casa. <ríe> no sé cómo se dice. Ahí estamos en el pasado. Sí, ahí es el pasado no, del verbo to be. No se preocupe, Miss, que no hemos visto. Ellos la quise sacar ahí de su comfort zone. Discúlpeme. <ríe> no, pero eh, para que lo vaya conociendo es el was y el where. Ah, oh, I was in my house. <ríe> good, good. That's the best place, Patricia. <laughs> That's the best place. Home, yes. sweet home. Nice. And the best company with your family, right? Your family, yes. in your house, day oh. off. That's great. That's great. I'm happy for you. You had a good weekend. So you're Thank ready for the you. class now, huh? I am ready. Super ready, huh? Today is the final class. Tomorrow we will have the evaluations. Yes. Are you fine. ready for the evaluations? Yes. Sí, preparándonos. <laughs> Getting ready, huh? Getting ready. I oh, love okay. it. I love it. Hey, Miss Monica, how you doing? Good evening. Good evening. <clears throat> I'm fine. Thanks. And me? And me, Monica? And you? Huh? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> I am a special too, Monica. You are a special. I am a special. So you yeah. say, and you, teacher? How about you? ¿Cuál era la pregunta para, para devolver? Como, 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 como que vamos a preguntar lo mismo. A ver, ¿quién se acuerda? Cual sea que fuera el tema. Yo puedo devolver la pregunta. ¿Cómo? Who remembers? How? 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 About? About? You. Mm -hmm. 
O sea, tú puedes decir en you, right? Así, en you. Pero um, es más formal, how about you? ¿Ok? Y se puede para cualquier tipo de pregunta. Preguntas lo mismo prácticamente, sin repetir la pregunta, sino haciéndola diferente, ¿ok? How about you? Hey, let's welcome to Edwin Rodriguez. Hello, Mr. Rodriguez. Welcome to your English session. How are you today? Maybe he has audio problems. Let's say welcome then to Edith Adilia. Hello, Miss Edith. Welcome to your English class. How are you today? Hello. I'm fine. I'm fine. Thank you. And you? Uh, a little sick. A little sick. But I'm ready. I'm ready for the class. No worries. No worries. Okay. okay. Where are you? Where are you, Edith? Are you, are you at work? Um, I, I, I am, I'm going on the bus. Oh, you're going on the bus. All right. You're going, you're going in the bus, in the bus. In the, on the bus. In the, bus. In, the bus. in the bus. In the bus. Sí, porque on significa encima, significa ar, eh, ah. encima de algo, sobre algo. In uh -huh. significa adentro, ¿ok? Ok. In the bus. Oh, in the bus. Ok, Miss, ok, le vamos a dar ahí tiempito, ¿verdad? Para que llegue primero Dios muy bien. Y nos avisa okay. cuando ya podamos, pues, tomarla en cuenta acá para las prácticas, ¿ok? Va, ok. Good, good. Let me say welcome to Mr. Mario Hernández. Good evening, Mr. Hernández. How are you doing today? Well, all right, in that case, let's say welcome to Miss Maria. Hello, Miss Maria. Good evening. Welcome to your English session. How are you doing? Hi, teacher. I'm fine. And you? A little sick, a little sick, but no worries. No worries. I'm okay. I'm okay. Okay, teacher. So you had a good weekend? Yes. You stay with your with your daughter, you have some family time, huh? Yes, I I <laughs> descansé. No sé cómo se dice en inglés. Sería rest, que es el verbo rest, sería el verbo, pero sería entonces en pasado. Rested. I, rest, I rested with my family. Okay, you rested, okay? In, the in, house, in my house. In your house, best place, huh? Just like, just like Patty. Patty says she stayed home. You can say I. Bueno, stay, sería el verbo también. Puedo usar stay. Stayed. Me, stay. El verbo stay significa quedarse o permanecer en algún lugar, ¿verdad? Stayed. I stayed home. Okay, I stay my home with my family. Correct. I stayed home with your family, huh? Nice. Okay. I, do, hey, I have a question for you, Maria. How is the exposition going? Almost ready, almost ready, because tomorrow yes, is the day. Yes, I finished the exposition. The, see, the exposition. The presentation is ready, yes. huh? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah, you can say yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. a little informal, right? Mm -hmm. But um, we're not really, you know, uh, exactly at, you know, an event such as a graduation or something like that, right? So you can use that expression. That's no problem. Okay. So who is your, who is your partner? My partner is Monica. 
No kidding. Wow, that's a good team, huh? Monica, yes. Monica is good, huh? She's great, isn't she? Very good. Yes. She's very intelligent. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. She's in the class. Oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Hablando de usted, mire, mis, y aquí está la par usted. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay. Um, let me say welcome to Mr. July. Carida, can you hear me, Mr. July? Mm. Oh, estamos igual. I'm sorry about that, Mr. Oh, that's bad, July. Well, me too, man. Me too. But we have to do our best. We have to do our very best. Anyways, um, let's do a little recap from the last class. Do you remember the last class? El uso de I like, I would like, I want, y I like. I would like, right? Yes. Oh, nice, nice. Nice, nice. So, what would you like? What would you like right now? What would you like right now, guys? Huh? I would you like I would coffee? like I would like some coffee. Remember in the question is oh oh okay wait 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 I would like some coffee I would like I would like some coffee oh me too I will actually yeah, I have a coffee here. <laughs> yes, I would like. Okay, nice. What would you like? What would you like? What would you like? Con WH word, right? Con palabra WH. WH word, what would you like? Where, where would you like to go? Where? W H word W H E R E where what's the meaning of where? Donde. Uh huh. So my question is, where would you like to go after the class? Where would you like to go after the class? Uh huh. Volunteers, do you have any idea? No. I would like mm -hmm. to go to the supermarket after class. Aunque no me lo crea, faltó un tú ahí. Uh -huh. mm. El que es de dirección hacia un lugar. Cuando usted supermarket. dice, um, por ejemplo, ¿cómo era al final? Um, al, superma al supermercado. Uh -huh. To the al final to the to the, to the supermarket to the supermarket. Uh -huh. I would like to go to the to supermarket the after the class. Nice. How about you guys? Where would you like to go after the class? Huh? The class is at finish. Hey, it's late. The class finishes at 10 p.m. Where would you like to go after the class? Uh-huh. I would like to go to bed. <laughs> I would like to go to bed. You know, to sleep. <laughs> what about you? Me too. <laughs> you too? <laughs> Ahora, 
Preguntas directas. Preguntas directas. Por ejemplo, puede ser una invitación. Sin el WH word directamente con el would. Por ejemplo, would you like, would you like some coffee? Repeat, would you like some coffee? Would you like some coffee? Would you like some coffee? Uh -huh. Would you like some coffee? You are offering, you are offering something specific. Yes? Yes. Can you give an example? Pero si, si puedes chat, puedes chat ahí, July, si tenés examples, ok, ahí con tu cuadernito. Ok, so. Uh -huh. Other example, other example, ok. Um, would you like some spaghetti with rice? <laughs> Do you understand? I'm yes. offering you, I'm offering you food. You can offer anything. Would you like some lemonade? Can you make a question? Offer something. Mm -hmm. Come on, offer something like like um, a drink, okay? Like food. Would you like some water? Correct. Would you like some water? Okay, thank you, Monica. Would you like some chicken or meat? Yes. Come on, guys. Try speak English. Try. If you don't speak, it's difficult for you to become bilingual. You need to speak so I can correct you. Yes. 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 Give me an example. Would you like? Um, would you like to participate in the class, please? Ah, would you like to participate? Please, please, please. Okay, there are two options. You can offer something or you can invite someone yeah you can make invitations or offers an invitation let's make an example of an invitation would you like would, to uh-huh would you like to go to the cinema 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 excellent would you like to go to the cinema with me Yes. Y qué podría responder? Puedo decir yes. Yes. Repeat. I would like. Yes, I yes. would. Repeat. Yes, yes I, I would. would. ¿Qué estoy diciendo si yo digo yes, I would? Sí, me gustaría. Correcto. Estoy accepting the invitation y esa es la forma correcta de aceptarla porque estoy preguntando con el module verb would. Ok. Um, otra forma. Um, you can say yes. Um, I would like to. or the contraction. Yes, yes, I would like to, or yes, I like to. Yeah? 
Yes, I would like to. Repeat. Yes, I would like to. Yes, I would like to. Everybody. Yes, I would like to. Yes, I would like to. Yes. Or or contraction. I like to. Yes, I like to. Yes, I like to. Mm -hmm. Okay, or you can say a negative. No. I wouldn't. No, I won't. I wouldn't. Won't. No, I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. I'm sorry. No, I wouldn't. Uh -huh. I would. All right. Ahora, si están bien molestos, van a decir, no, I would not. Estresando el negation word, not. No. Without the contraction. Okay, let's make, let's make offers or invitations. Yes, let's make offers and invitations. Teacher Kalev starts. Teacher Kalev starts. And my big team, <laughs> my participant is going to be, let me see, Monica. Okay, Monica. Okay, we're gonna do a role play, little role play. A little role Would play. Would you like to dance the next weekend? Yes, I would. <laughs> yes, I would. Thank you. Next weekend. Woo we will go to a party next weekend. Okay. Excellent. Okay. How about Josue? Can you give us an, an invitation or an offer? Hi, teacher. Hi, can you try an example with um, wood and make an invitation or an offer? Or you need more examples? Sí, necesito más ejemplos. Okay, yes, I need more examples. Yes, I need more mm -hmm. examples. No problem. Let's check your classmates. Let's see, Edwin, do you have any example using wood? Uh, yo estoy igual. Necesito más ejemplos. You need more examples. Okay, no problem. Um, what about Laura? Can you give us? The question is, would you like? Okay, would you like? Would you like? And you make the offer or the? invitation okay this is this is formal speaking guys this is very formal and professional speaking yes you are being formal and you are being very polite would you like y si van a usar otro verbo después de like van a decir would you like to y luego pues viene el otro verbo ahí, ¿verdad? Uh -huh, uh -huh. For example, would you like to dance? Ah, would you like to dance? I have one, let me see, one uh, question for the students, okay, students, attention. Would you like to have some coffee and, and bread? Would you like to have some coffee? Hello? Would yes, you like? I yes, I would, okay. Ok, only one student. Ok, ok. Si los demás no querían café, ¿cómo me tendrían que haber dicho? No, I couldn't. 
Ajá, pero nadie me dijo, me tenían que decir no, I wouldn't. Y después no. pueden decir thanks, ¿verdad? Para sonar un poquito cortés, como agradeciendo. All right. Let's see. One more example. One more question for the class. I'm going to um, offer you something. Offer. Okay. For example, students, would you like to go to Mexico? Yes, I would. No, I wouldn't. Okay. Um, punctually, punctually. Excuse me, um, Patricia, can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Um, would you like to eat some pizza? Um, yes, I would. <laughs> okay, perfect. Would you like to eat eat some pizza? Repeat, guys. Would you like to eat some pizza? Would you like to eat some pizza? Would you like to eat some pizza? Mm -hmm. Okay. This is a this is an offer or is an invitation? It's an offer. That is correct, Patricia. That's good. Last example. Read the example for me on the chat. Read the example for me on the chat. Hello? Hello, hello. Would you like to drive my car? Excellent, Maria. Would you like to drive my car? Would you like to drive my car, guys? Yes, I could. Would you like to drive my car? Now, yes, would you I like could. to drive my car? Is an invitation or is an offer? Invitation. That is correct, Patricia. Can you give an example using wood, please, for your classmates? Patty? Yes. Can you give one example using wood? Um, question, right? Okay. Uh, would you like play tennis? Would you like to play tennis? Repeat. Would you like to play tennis? Would you like to play tennis? Yeah, y al final pueden agregar with me, right? Or with my family or with my friends. Con la preposición with, right? Con, right? With my friends, with my family members, etc. Okay. Um, that's nice. Okay. Let me hear Karen. Oh, Karen is in the bus. Okay. Josue. Let me see. Maria, give us one question using wood. Would you like to play a game? Would you like to play a game? Yes? Would you like to play a game? Yes. Eso me sonó como una película que vimos que decía así, ¿Quieres jugar un juego? Como, would you like to play a game? Ya me se me vino a la mente. I think it's... I don't know. It was a terror movie. Era de terror. It was a terror movie, huh? Ahí lo escuchó, maybe, ¿ah? Huh? Would you like to play a game? Imagínense, ¿te gustaría jugar un juego? Bueno, en español se escucha algo mal, ¿verdad? Pero en inglés es diferente. Would you like to play a game? Excellent. Would you like to play a game is an offer or an invitation? 
invitation. It's an invitation. That's right. That's right. Bueno, entonces ustedes se hacen offers or invitations, ¿ya? Yeah? Y aceptan or, or refuse. Cuando, cuando hacemos refuse, que, que no voy a aceptar para ser cortés, porque me están hablando bien, bien, bien polite con, con Wood, voy a decir, um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't. Repeat, I'm sorry, I can't. I'm sorry, I can't. I'm sorry, I can't. That's right. Mm -hmm. Maybe you give you give a reason. Maybe you can give a reason, such as, for example, I have to um, study for an exam. Huh? That's a good reason. Repeat, I'm sorry, I can't. I have to study for an exam. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I can't. I have to study for an exam. I'm sorry, I can't. I have to study for an exam. <laughs> okay, puede ser excusa, puede ser razón. It can be an excuse or a reason. Okay, I want to give, I want to hear an example between Maria Elena and, um, let me see, who, 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 Patricia, yeah? Maria Elena and Patricia. Um, okay. Patricia, can you make, can you make the question using wood for her? Um, okay. Excuse me, Maria. Uh, excuse me, Maria. Would you like cook uh, bread? Would you like cook, to cook bread? Yes, I, I, I would. Yes, I would. I love yes, it. Okay. I love it. <laughs> ¿Cómo diría? Me encantaría. I'd. I, I love, love it. it. O si no, sin la contracción. I would love it. Me encantaría. ¿Ya? Yeah? Eh, me gustaría. I like it. I like it. Yes, I love it. Yes, I like it. También pueden decir, ok. It's okay, yeah, perfect, perfect. Okay, excellent guys, congratulations. I hope you understand a little better the topic. This was yesterday's topic. And now we're going to study other module verb. Okay, do you know? We're gonna study a different module verb. We're gonna study could. Repeat, could. 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 Do you could. know how to spell could? It's C O U L C. U -L could. Okay, and we also will study the module verb can. Yes? Can <laughs> and could. Hay mucho que decir de estos dos guys. There's a lot to say about them. A ver, um, could and can. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna share with you a link so you can watch a video right now uh, based on could and can. I need you to take notes. I need you to prepare questions in case you have questions. And um, you're going to watch it. It's going to be one minute only, one minute, okay? Go ahead, watch the video.
Okay, so I believe you finished watching the video, right? You have any comment? You have any question about it? No, I will not teach it. No questions. So no questions. Okay. Um, eh, notaron que con el amigo, ¿qué model verb usó ella para hacer la, la petición? Can. 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 Mm -hmm. Let me just try to share my screen. Yo entiendo que can como que me puedes ayudar. Me puede, puedes. Ambos, mis, ambos. Vaya, antes que nada, vamos a aclarar eso. Ambos se usa para request. A ver todos, requests. 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 We use can and could to make make requests. What is requests? Requests is um, similar to a favor. When you need something from someone. Now, make a request. You can use can. And you can use could. Ella, la chica le preguntó al, al amigo, ¿verdad? ¿Puedo usar tu bicicleta? How do you say puedo usar tu bicicleta? O puedes prestarme tu bicicleta. Can I? Can you let me? Ahí está. Ajá. Can you? Can you let me, me? Bicycle. Your bicycle. Can you lend me your bicycle? Can you repeat? Can you loan me, you lend your, me bicycle? your bicycle? Lend me is prestar. Uh -huh. Lend me, prestarme. Can you lend me? Can you lend me your bicycle? Ah, porque, porque eran amigos. Había confianza. There was confidence. She used can. Sustituyó un amigo, right? Hey, Roberto, eh, can you lend me your bicycle? Hey, Jose, um, can you lend me your car? Prestar. Me puedes prestar. It's, it's just with confidence. Entonces, en el otro escenario, ella preguntó por una dirección a un desconocido, right? A esa persona no la conocía. Entonces, ¿qué module verb usó para hacer el request? Could. Could. A ver, Edwin, go ahead. Ah, sí, una pregunta. Eh, yo sabía de que lend es prestar, pero también el verbo borrow. Entonces, ¿cómo, cómo diferenciarlo? Bueno, lo diferencias de esta manera. Lend es cuando tú pides prestado algo. Right? 
can you lend me? For example, can you lend me your book? Que si tú me puedes. Prestar el libro. Uh -huh. Can you lend me your <coughs> what? Computer. Yes. Can you lend me your laptop? Can you lend me your cell phone? I need to make a phone call. Yes? Capich? Can, can, ¿Sí? Entonces, can borrow. My homework. I'm sorry? No quería decir, ¿me puedes ayudar con mi tarea? Ah, esa es otra pregunta buena. Ok, la vamos a poner acá, Miss. Ok. Can, can you, you help me? me? Can you help me with my homework? Homework. Can you help me with my homework? Repeat, can you help me with my homework? Can you help, can you help, me, help me with my, with my homework? Vale, entonces para finalizar acá la, la explicación, lend es cuando tú vas a pedir prestado algo, right? Can you lend me your pencil, your bicycle, your book, your notebook? Can you lend me your, can you lend me a dollar? Can you, can you lend me ten dollars? Yeah, etc. Varo es cuando tú tomas prestado algo, tú proactivamente. Entonces va a cambiar acá de you, vamos a cambiar a I, porque es una acción que tú realizas. Como que le viste el lápiz ahí a, a Patty y lo tomaste, y ya lo tomaste y le dijiste, can I borrow, right? Eh, can I borrow, puedo tomar prestado, right? Puedo tomar prestado, es, can I borrow, y aquí le quitamos esto, can I borrow your bicycle? Can I borrow your bicycle? Repeat, can I borrow your bicycle? Can I borrow your bicycle? Can I borrow your your cell phone? Yeah, can you give me an example? Can I borrow your ear pads? Repeat, can I borrow your ear pads? Can I borrow your inner pads? Ear is the, the oídos, the orejas. Ear pads son los audífonos. Audífonos. Ear pads. Repeat, can I borrow your ear pads? Can I borrow your ear pads? A ver, las chicas, ¿qué se piden prestado a ustedes, chicas? Entre ustedes. Can I borrow your what? Glasses? No, será. Puede ser verdad. Can I borrow your mirror? Si andan un espejo, verdad? Las chicas andan preparadas. Can I borrow your mirror? Yeah. What else? Can I borrow? Okay. ¿Se entiende la diferencia ahí, Edwin? Yes, yes. Yo usaría land. Eh, Barro es como que con más confianza, right? Bueno, entonces queda claro acá. Can es con confianza. Friends, family members. Yeah. A ver, more examples using can. Give me more examples using can. Come on, more examples. Can I borrow your meter? Can you help me with my homework? Continue. Can you lend me your computer? Your. Can you lend me your computer? Repeat, your. 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 Repeat, guys. Can you lend me your computer? Can you lend, Can you lend me computer? your computer? Lend. Lend. Lend me. Lend me. Lend me. Lend me. Computer. Aha, uh -huh. give me another example, please. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Can, Can you lend me your bathrooms? Can you? Mm. 
Can I? Ahí sería, can I use your bathroom? Ajá. Uh -huh. Repeat, can I use your bathroom? Can I use, can your, I, bathroom? Can I use your bathroom? Mm -hmm. Can I use your bathroom? Tratamos acá de unir acá mis los linking the sounds, como uniéndolos, ¿verdad? Can, repeat, can. 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 I. Can. I. So, when you say it, use. you say, use. you say, can. can I? Repeat, can I? Can I? Can I use? Can I use? Can I use? Can I? Can, can, I, I use can I use your, your can I use your bathroom? Can I use your bathroom? Can I use your bathroom? Use your bathroom? Es de confianza. Okay, guys. Come on, continue. One more. <laughs> Podemos hacer en tercera persona y no cambia nada. Can he... Puede ir. Puede, ajá, ajá, puede ir. Este sí es poder más que todo habilidad o puede ser también para hacer una solicitud. Hagamos una solicitud que él nos ayude con algo. A ver, can he, what? Can he, can he, can he... a ver, barrer. How do you say barrer? Chicas, girls, gentlemen. Clean. ¿Cómo? Clean. Sweep. Bueno, clean es como limpiar en general, mis, ¿ok? Sí. Ajá. Puntualmente, barrer. Sweep. Sweep. ¿De? Sweep. Floor. Repeat, can he sweep the floor? Can sweep the floor? Sweep. The action is sweep. Yes? Sweet. Check out the verbs. Borrow, help, lend, use, sweep. Plural, plural. Make a plural. Can... Can R. I'm sorry? Can R sería... No, this is not no. the bird to be. Don't mix the bird to be. This is can. Can we or can they? Correct. Can we? Now you need a verb. It's okay. not the bird to be. You need an action verb. Aquí vamos a necesitar verbo de acción. Yeah? Can we? I'm sorry? <laughs> Oops, oigo ahí como interferencia. Can we, what? Can we, podemos nosotros, ¿qué? Go to cinema. Ahí siempre me gusta este artículo, miren, mis. Cuando sea de go, guys, cuando sea de go, agregamos to the. De cinema. To es como para darle la dirección hacia dónde, ¿verdad? Can uh -huh. we go to the cinema? A ver, me están con esas palabras de cinema, ¿verdad? Cinema. Repeat, cinema. 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 O sea, se escribe igual, cinema. right? Pero la pronunciación es diferente. Cinema. Ok, can on we go Wednesday. to the cinema? Oh, puedes agregar eso. On Wednesday. Ah, porque es two by one, ¿ah? Huh? Es two by one. <laughs> yes. Cheaper. Yes. We can go on Wednesday. Good idea. Good idea. It's cheaper. Repeat, guys. It's cheaper. It's cheaper. It's cheaper. It's cheaper. Es más. Barato. Yes, sir. It's cheaper. Okay. It's cheaper. ¿Alguien más tenía alguna pregunta con Ken? No. Ok, entonces aquí están los ejemplos. Vámonos con could. Es lo mismo, right? Pero could is more polite. This is to make... Um, to make... Um, 
polite requests. Repeat, polite, polite, polite requests. Request. Polite es cortés, amable. Request es una petición, una solicitud. Yeah. For example, could you, oops, could you tell me, oops, could you tell me, could you tell me, yeah, okay, me puedes contar, could you tell me, podría usted contarme, could you, could I, for example, could I speak with you? Could I speak with you? Repeat, could I speak with you? Could I, could I speak with you? Repeat, could, could, could I speak with you? Could, the letter O and the letter L are silent. Could. Just pronounce the U. Yeah. And the letter D. Could. could I speak with you? I speak with you. With? Con Z. Could, could I speak with you? Excellent. Could I speak with you? Could I speak with you? Uh -huh. Could I speak with you? Mm -hmm. Could you tell me the truth? Could you tell me the truth? Repeat, could you tell me the truth? Could, could you tell, tell me, me the, the truth? truth? A ver, interpret interpretation, please. Yes. Uh -huh. That's right. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Could... Imagínense en una conferencia, guys, en una reunión, usted va a ingresar. Super formal. Ahí sí es business speaking, right? Formal. Could I come in? Come in. Could I? Could I come in? Repeat. Could I come in? Come in. Come in. Could I come in? Could I come in? Estoy pidiendo autorización. Todos estos es para hacer peticiones, right? Pero también es para ask. Ask. Repeat, ask. ask permission. Ask. Permission. Ajá, porque aquí, si, si usted le está pidiendo permiso, right? Uh, 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 aquí a un familiar. Yes. Por ejemplo, usted le dice, can I, can I use, oops, can I take your camera with me? Uh, could I take your camera with me? Con confianza a un familiar, right? Can I take your camera with me? Okay, and, and, and here, permission, for example, permission, could I have, could I have um, my vacation time? Could I have my vacation time? Polite request. Could I have my vacation time? Podría yo tener ya mi, mi tiempo de vacación. Right? Very formal. Could you send me the financial report? Repeat. Could you send me the financial report? Could you send me the financial report? Financial 
Could you send me the financial report? You send me the financial report. Financial report. Correct. All right. Do you have any example using could? Do you have any example using could? Mm. A ver, en un restaurante, por ejemplo, guys, in a restaurant, the waiter. O, 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 o si usted es super formal, right? Pide el menú. ¿Cómo pediría el menú? Take the menu. Mm, ser otro verbo. Instead of take. I have. Give. Give. Give is dar. Hay un verbo que oh. es super funcional. Tiene como 20 significados. Creo que se los he dicho antes. Bring. Bring es traer. Take. Take es, es agarrar, como tomar, abordar, dependiendo del contexto. Have. Puede ser have, sí. Ni. Puede ser have. Ni. Could I have the menu, please? Y si agregamos, please, guys. Wow. For leave, for show. Could I have the menu, please? Repeat. Could I have the menu, please? I have the menu. Have a menu, please. Quiero que me unan estos dos. Could and the subject. I. Could I? Could I? Could I? Mm -hmm. Could I? Could I? Have the menu, please? Uh -huh. Menu. Menu. Could I have the menu, please? Menu. Could I? Could I have the menu, please? Could I have the menu, please? All right. Um, I'm going to share now. Let me just share with you the book. The Insa for Manual. Can you see my screen? Yes. I yes, I see. I can see. I mm -hmm. can see. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, so there what we have is the objective is to make polite requests, right? Is to make polite requests. Um, do you ever, do you ever make requests? If so, what kind of requests do you make? Uh -huh. in your company, what is what is a common request that you do in your job? For example, my my boss asks me for um. Uh, report she says she asked me teacher Kalev could you send me the final scores could you send me could you send me the final reports me puedes enviar los, los resultados finales, ¿verdad? Sí, al final del módulo. Yeah. Could you send me the final reports? The final scores? This is in my job. Yes. Could you send me the lesson plans? Me puedes enviar los... Planet de sesión de las clases. Huh? Could you send me the lesson plans? Uh, 
en el trabajo, right? Could you make the payroll? Could you make the payroll? ¿Puedes hacer las planillas? Ajá. Uh -huh. What's a request in your job? What is a request in your job, in your company? Monica? You, your boss, your supervisor, your colleagues, I don't know. What is a request that you have in your company? Uh -huh. Do we have any volunteer, please? No? Prepare your example, please. For example, look at here in this conversation. It says, could you help me, please? Look, could you help me, please? Could you help me, please? Could you tell me, me podrías decir, me podrías tú decir, right? Let's practice the conversation between Max and Joe. Repeat, hello. Hello, this is Max from Tech Support. Hello, this is Max from Tech Support. How can I help you? How can I help, How you? Can I help you? How can I help you? How can I help you? Hi, Max. My name is Joe. Hi, Max. My name is Joe. Hi, Max. My name is Joe. I work for Pips. I work for Pips. I work for Pips. Dot com. Dot Ese punto That's com. Dot com. A ver, este punto com. ¿Cómo se dice punto En correos electrónicos se dice dot. 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 A ver, solo por curiosidad, ¿quién sabe? How do you say in English arroba? Scroll? No. Uh -huh. Nadie. Somebody, somebody. Arroba. Es un símbolo, ¿verdad? Entonces se dice at. At. Repeat at. Cuando den un correo van a decir at gmail y el punto dot at gmail.com at hotmail.com etc. Ok, repeat. We received the new printer. We received the new printer. We received the new printer. 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 And I need, and I need help setting it up. And, and I, I need, need help setting it up. It up. And I need help. And I need help. And I need help. Y necesito ayuda, right? And I need help. And, and I, I need, need help. help. Setting it. Setting, setting it up. 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 Excellent. Repeat. Setting it up. Setting, setting it up. 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 It's a little difficult. Setting it up. Setting it up. Yo necesito ayuda en ajustando, la verdad. Okay. Request. Could you help me, please? Could, Could you help me, please? Could, Monica. Could. Could. Uh -huh. Sin la L. Could you help me, please? Could you help me, please? Muy bien, muy bien, Esmeralda. Mónica, si ¿sí tú que me dices como la L o, o, o seré yo. Cool. Ahí, ahí, ok, ok. Cool. Could, could you help me, please? Could you help me, please? Ah, qué formal, ¿verdad? 
podría ser, es como, nosotros lo deberíamos interpretar como, bueno, yo personalmente lo interpretaría como, serías tan amable si es posible, ¿verdad? Could you help me, please? Repeat, no problem, Joe. 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 Could you tell me the module? Could you tell, Could you tell me the model? The module? The model. Could you model. tell me the model? Let me check. Let me check. Let me check. Hmm. Let, Let me check. check. Let, Let me check. check. Could you tell me the module? Let me check. Repeat. Could you, could you, could you hold on? Module? Could you hold on? Hold, hold on. Pónganme este verbito ahí. Aparte, ese es un verbo fracial. Could you hold on? Could you hold on? Vaya, hold on. Eh, es el sinónimo del verbo wait. Como cuando usted dice espera. ¿Cómo se dice espera? Wait. 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 Es wait. como decir wait a moment. Repeat, wait a moment. 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 Wait a wait a wait a moment. Wait a moment. Entonces, para decir eso, en otra forma vamos a decir hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. A ver, excelente. Lo unimos, guys. Lo unimos siempre. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Mm, unidito. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Could you repeat? Can you hold on a second? Could you hold on? Repeat. Can can you can can you hold on a second, please? 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 Hold on. It's an ultra page. It's an ultra page. It's, a it's an open page. MX30. MX30. Okay. First. Okay. First. Make sure. Okay. Pongan este verbo también como un verbo facial. Make sure es asegúrate. Como que revisa bien y asegúrate. Make sure. ¿verdad? Make sure. Make sure. Especialmente cuando estamos dando indicaciones o instrucciones, pero asegúrate de esto. Make sure that, repeat, make sure that the power cord. Make sure that the power cord. Make sure that the power cord is plugged in. Otro verbo fracial, plugged in. Plugged in, como conectado, enchufado, ¿verdad? A ver, como cuando lo conectamos, ¿verdad? Para la, la electricidad, decimos plug, este verbo. Plug. P-L-U-G. Plug. All right, repeat, all right. All right. It is. It is. Could all you right. tell me what I need right. to do next? Please. Could you tell me what I need to do next, please? Me puedes ser tan amable y me dices qué es lo que yo debo de hacer ahora. Porque ya le dijo... Okay, first, make sure that the power cord, repeat, power cord. Power, power. What is the power cord? Power cord. Power cord is the cable of power, the one you connect, right? So that the electronic functions. 
Entonces asegúrate que el power cord esté conectado. Uh, make sure that the power cord is plugged in. Repeat, plugged in. Plugged in. Ok, yeah. yo le dice, yeah, it is. Sí, sí está. Yeah, all right, all right, it is. Uh, could you tell me what I need to do next? Me podrías decir qué es lo que debo hacer después, right? Second. Repeat, second. Second. Check, second. The, second. check that the installation CD is in the tray. Check that the installation CD is in the tray. The tray, what is the tray? Es la bandejita de la, de la el printer donde usted pone el papelito, right? Tray. And third, repeat, and third. And third. Once the menu appears on the screen. Once Ooh. the menu appears on the screen. Once the menus appear on the screen, click on install. Click on install. Very nice. Very nice. So look, could you can you tell me the request? Do you see any formal request? Can you pronounce this, please? How do you pronounce this? This is a formal request. Pronunciation? Could you help me, please? Could you help me, please? Could you help me, please? En el trabajo, así tendríamos que hablarlo, ¿verdad? Súper formal. Could you help me, please? Y en la casa, ¿cómo podría decir? Can you help me, please? Can I help me, please? Solo cambio el could por el can, que es más de confianza. Can you help me, please? All right, all right. Excellent, guys. Nice job. Bueno, let's move on. Let's move on. Let me stop sharing this real quick. All right. Veamos. Aquí nos va a dar un um, audio donde ustedes van a escuchar la pronunciación de can and could. Ok, yo sé que a veces por inercia quizás se nos va algo más, ¿verdad? Pero sí hay que ser bien puntuales con esta pronunciación porque todos estos modal verbs, guys, todos estos would, wouldn't, could, couldn't, can, can't, todos estos son modal verbs y estos son unos verbos, pero más que especiales. Son tipo auxiliares, podemos decir, ¿ok? So it's very important for you to to take that into account. Es bien importante que ustedes pues tomen eso en cuenta. Let me see, esto no me ha abierto. One second. Vaya, sí, es que hay unos enlaces del libro. Si se fijan en el manual, trae algunos enlaces. Entonces siempre hay que irlo verificando porque puede ser que estén actualizados o que ya no estén en el peor de los casos. So let me share once again my screen. Let's continue with our for manual. Okay, let me go with um, Maria. Can you help us? How? Here. Okay, Patty, can you help us? How? No. Oh, How do you use calls for polite and formal requests? Polite. Polite and formal requests. Yes. Modal verb could is for? Use is for? For polite. Polite. And? Formal, and? formal, formal. request. Guys, if you're learning English, you need to speak formal. Si usted está aprendiendo a hablar en inglés, aprenda a hablar formal, a pedir las cosas formalmente, usando los module verbs. ¿Ok? For example, aquí está el formula, ¿eh? Structure. Could plus subject. 
plus verb. verb. Fíjense verb. qué fácil. ¿Cómo va el verbo? ¿Cómo va a ir el verbo? Base form. ¿Qué quiere decir eso? Que va a ir en su tiempo presente. En su forma base. Ni siquiera le van a poner el to, solo el verbo tal cual. Luego el complement and then don't forget your question mark. For example, examples, Irving, number one. So good. Example number one, please, Mr. Moran. Could you call your right this report, please? Could you? Could you write this report, please? Correct. Could you write these reports, please? Repeat, guys. Could you write these reports, please? Could you write this report, please? Could you write this report, please? Podrías ser tan amable y escribes estos reportes, porfa. Okay, question two. Laura, can you help us, Laura? Question two. No, nope. okay, can you help us, Edwin? Could you deliver these letters today, please? Excellent, good intonation. Is deliver, what is deliver? Deliver. What is deliver? Entregar. Entonces acá lo que usted necesita es un base verb. Y aquí usted puede poner cualquier subject, no solo you, 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 right? Okay, very well. Do you understand? Do you have any question? So right now, I want you to prepare one formal request. I want you to prepare one formal request. Okay. I'm going to give you one minute so you can prepare a formal request, ¿ok? Prepárenla okay. y luego compartimos en dos minutos. Two minutes, go. Three minutes. Three minutes, vaya pues, three minutes. Go ahead. Ahí está la fórmula. Follow the formula. Sigan las estructuras para hablar correctamente sin uh, desórdenes. Right? Grammar mistakes, grammar gaps. El verbo, su forma base.
Okay, guys, time is up. Time is up. I want to hear your examples and see what you got. Okay. Formal requests, volunteers. Okay. Go, Patty. Uh, could you tell me your name, please? Ooh, I love it. I love it. I love your intonation, Patty. Good job. Thank you. Somebody else? Could she go to the dinner, please? Could you repeat? Could you, hasta yo formal. Could you repeat, please, Esmeralda? <laughs> could she go to the, the dinner, please? Ah, third person. Could she? Podría ella. Could she go to dinner? Excellent. Thank you so much, Esmeralda. Somebody else? You're welcome. All right, proceed, Monica. Could you help me cook? Cooking. Okay. Repeat. Could you help me cooking? Uh -huh, porque allí, eh, Miss Monica, el verbo principal es help. Ayudar. Ajá. Entonces, como va a usar un verbo secundario, lo, lo modific modificamos con ing, ¿ok? Excellent. Good job. Could you help me cooking? Nice. Somebody else? María. No, hice otra teacher, no sé si estará bien. Eh, sí, sí, que de hecho eso les iba a decir que cuando hagamos así siempre hagan otra, porque puede ser que la primera esté mala, entonces siempre tengan así como un plan B. Ajá, Mónica, go ahead. Could you give me an appointment with your boss? Could you give me an appointment with your boss? Yeah, yeah, it's definitely possible, Mónica, yes. Could you give me an appointment with your boss? Could you give me? También podría ser get, get me. Get me. Get. Could you get me? Es get. Podría ser en ese caso como conseguirme, como agendarme. Um, también puede ser schedule. Hay muchas formas de decirlo. Great job, Monica. Somebody else, please. I want to hear all my students. I want to hear Edwin. I want to hear Josué. I want to hear Laura. Could you try slowly? Slower, please. Wonderful. Thank you, Edwin. Somebody else? Could they recite my parents? Could they? Could they receive? Receive. Receive my parents. Yeah, quizá van para otro país, ¿verdad? Could they mm -hmm. receive my parents? Está bien. Could they receive my parents? Receive. Could they receive my parents? Thank y you. Uh -huh. could, is, uh, otras. Uh -huh. could we play in the garden? Could we play in the garden? Okay, está hablando super formal en la casa. Me llega. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Tienes algo más ahí? Uh, could I take a glass of water? Could I take? Could I take uh, mejor digamos get. Could I get a glass of water? Get, uh -huh. Could I get a glass of water? El verbo get. G-E-T, guys. Estudienmelo, porfa. Get. Comprar, adquirir, gestionar, ¿verdad? Y tiene tomar, mucho significado tomar, tomar, agarrar. Excellent. ¿Alguien más se me ha quedado? ¿Alguien más se siente en deuda? <ríe> si no, pues vámonos con las otras que son las... ¿Yes? Se puede como call to be. Yes, could you be, podría usted ser o estar, ¿verdad? El verbo to be. Ajá, uh ajá, -huh, uh -huh. yes. Puede so ser, como... could you be at work? 
tomorrow mm -hmm. at 8 a.m. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yes, 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 definitely, Patty. All right, let's go with how to use can for? For what? Um, for? For. Eh, luego de coach you es el verbo. Sí, así es, así es. Ahorita vamos a las informal. Informal request. Okay. Informal request. ¿Qué vamos a usar? The modal verb. Can. Can. Ojo, guys, para su conocimiento, este, esta palabrita también tiene otra pronunciación y por ende otro significado. ¿Alguien se lo sabe? Es can. Repeat, can. Can, así como está tal can. cual. Can. Do you know what is the meaning? The meaning is a container. Es un container. Es una um, lata. Entonces usted va a ver esta palabrita, por ejemplo, con soda. Usted va a ver que diga a can of soda. Repeat. A can of soda. Hello. A can of soda. I can of soda. I can of soda. I can. I can. I can. I can. I can. A can of soda. A can of soda. Where is my chat here? I don't see it. Is there one question? Yes, sir. Yes. Eh, la pantalla que usted está compartiendo me parece una, a mí me aparece una sombra negra. No sé si así lo está compartiendo usted. Sí, es que me acabo, <ríe> me acabo de salir. I'm sorry. Es que estoy tratando de, let me see. Permíteme, permíteme. Ok, perfecto. Vaya. Entonces estábamos hablando de can, que es para informal requests. Informal requests. Ok, what is the structure? What is the structure? Can plus subject plus, can plus verb. ¿Qué tipo de verbo? Fácil. Base form. Plus complement. Plus question mark. Okay, let's go over the... Um, Let's go over the examples. Let me see, who do we have? Edith, ya está Edith, todavía no. Siempre sigue. Oh. Ah, va en camino, ok. Vaya, entonces, vámonos con Josué, aprovechemos a Josh. Ajá, Josh, go over the examples, please. Bueno, lo perdimos. Vamos a ver. Hay problemas de audio, maybe. Audio issues. Okay, in that case, let's go with Lara. Are you there, Lara? Yes. Okay, go ahead with the examples, please. Can you write this report, please? Okay. También el otro. Please. Mm -hmm. Can you help deliver this letter today, please? All right. This is informal. Oops, no quiere decir que esté mal, ¿verdad? No quiere decir que esté mal. Simplemente es el, el level change, el, el cambio de nivel ahí en, en el contexto, right? Pero sí, o sea, hay quienes ya tienen mucho tiempo de estar en el mismo trabajo con los mismos compañeros y ahí hay confianza. Pueden usar can, right? That's not a problem. Okay. Exercise. Exercise. Let me see. Patty, 
Patricia, can you help me reading the instructions, please? Write five requests that your boss called us your next week. Okay, Edwin, can you help us with the interpretation? Escribe cinco preguntas que le harías a tu jefe la siguiente semana. Más que preguntas, solicitudes, ¿verdad? Y si es para boss, es, tiene que ser más formalito, ¿verdad? Entonces, ustedes saben que vamos a usar could, right? Could. Y es para su jefe, guys. Yo creo que por cuestión de tiempo hagamos por lo menos unas tres. ¿Les parece? I'm going to give you five minutes. Five minutes. Five requests or three requests to your boss. Para su jefe o su jefa. Five minutes now. Let's go. Eh, ¿Cómo vamos, chicos? Eh, quiero aclararles acá, right? No sé si quizás I misunderstood. Porque dice request that your boss could ask you. Creo que les dije lo opuesto. I'm sorry, guys. No sé si lo hicieron así, pero eh, dice que son uh, peticiones que te hace tu jefe, right? If I request that your boss could ask you peticiones que tu jefe podría preguntarte tareas right duties in your company we still have three more minutes okay
Okay, time is up, time is up. Bueno, Edwin decía que el jefe le puede preguntar, right? Could you help me in another department? Es correcto, a veces tenemos que apoyar, ¿verdad? En otras áreas, aunque no sean nuestras áreas. So, that's a very good idea, sir. So, te diría tu jefe, let me see. Edwin, could you help me in another department? What would you respond, Edwin? Yes, I could. Yes, I could, of course. No problem. Yes, sure, no problem, yeah. Okay. Thank you, Edwin. Any other question, please, guys? Any other request? Go for it. Go for it. Would you work this Sunday? Ooh, it's difficult, but yes. <laughs> could you work? Could you? Could you? ¿Seré yo o me está pronunciando la L, Miss Mónica? No, no. Could. Ah, pues soy yo, mi si es que el, ya el oído derecho ya. <laughs> ya me vibra. Could. Okay, could, could you, could you work on Sunday? Como es tan difícil eso, ¿verdad? ¿Por qué no pedirlo con esa formalidad, verdad? Could you, en cambio, aquí Salvador en speaking, ¿verdad? O trabajas, trabajas, right? Pero hay que usar forma, formalisms. Um, could you work on Sunday? Somebody has a different one? Chat it or say it. Chat it or say it. Okay, um, Esmeralda, do you have one? Hello, teacher. Do you have a request from your boss? Mm. Could, could you, could you read white book? Could you read my book? Puede que le diga eso, okay? Could you read my book? Okay, somebody else. Let me see. Laura, do you have one example? Would you give a report in the meeting? Did you say could? Yes. Would, would you give? A report in the meeting. Sí, pero ahí me lo está dando con el would, ¿verdad? Yes. Ah, es que ahorita ya estamos usando could. Eh, si usted le dice um, would you, would you, es como que le está dando la, la posibilidad de decirle que no. Es como que usted le esté pidiendo como que permisito, como que usted le esté pidiendo como que invitándolo opcionalmente, ¿ya? Entonces... Could es ya para pedir en sí la solicitud formalmente. O sea, hazme este favor, pero super formal. Yeah? Okay. Could. Can you change it for could? Can you say it with could, please? Mm, sería could you give, I think. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Could you give a report in the meeting? Could you give a report in the meeting? Very good. Okay, somebody else, somebody else? Josue, do you have an example? Could you finish to the report quickly? Could you finish the report quickly? The report. Mm -hmm. Could you finish the report quickly? Could you finish to report to report quickly? That is correct. Thank you so much. What about Edith? Do you have one? Or Maria, do you have one? Could you work two hours more? Ooh. Could you work two more hours? Repeat. Could you work 
two more, no. Yeah, more, yeah. Two, two more hours. Two more hours today. No, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> no more. <laughs> All right. Vale, les quiero cambiar el escenario. Les quiero, les quiero cambiar el escenario. ¿Qué es algo que ustedes le pedirían al teacher? Así formalmente. O, obviamente de su proceso de aprendizaje, ¿verdad? Sí. Yeah. Ok, a ver, preguntas puntuales. Prepárenlas, porfa. Prepárenlas, solo una. Teacher, ¿me podría usted hacer el favor? Right? Y el verbo base. Think about it. Make it interesting. I'll give you three minutes. Teacher. Yes. Could you sing the emails class, please? Could you send could you send the class via email? email? Please. No es así. Sí, ahorita la vamos a chatear. Could you send the class via email? Y ahí si le pones please, sería super, super, super más todavía formal. Could you send me the class via email, please? Repeat, guys. Could you send me the emails via class, please? No, lo estás diciendo al revés. Check the chat, Irving, check the chat. Could you send me the class via email? Could you send me the class via emails, please? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, I could. My pleasure. Okay, Maria, go ahead. Okay, Monica, go ahead. Hi, teacher. Laura, okay, go ahead. Could you repeat topic, please? Could you repeat the? Could you the repeat topic. the topic, please? Uh -huh. Could you repeat the co the topic, please? Yes, of course, Laura, no problem. Patricia, do you have one request for teacher Caleb? Yes, teacher. Teacher, could you be with us the next module, please? <laughs> hey, that's a good one. I love it. Good job, Patricia. Great job. Thank you for Thank making you. it interesting. I just love it. Okay, what about uh, Jose? What's your request for teacher, Caleb? Your turn, teacher. It's your turn. It's tu turno. It's your turn. Perdón, teacher, no le he hecho. Ah, okay, okay, okay. No, no hay problema. Tómate tu tiempo. A ver, Edwin. Rodriguez. Okay. Could you let me go to the sleep? Could you let me go to sleep? Yes. I'll let you go to sleep. No problem. Just five more minutes. Esmeralda, do you have one request for teacher Caleb formally? Nope. Tati, do you have one? No. Teacher, no le he terminado. Vaya, bueno, estamos ahorita contra un poquito del tiempo. Hi, en... teacher. 
Bueno, vamos a ir a algunas indicaciones para el día de mañana, guys. El día de mañana tenemos que completar nuestra encuesta de satisfacción porque es nuestro último día de clases. Um, debo decirles que es sumamente importante que usted no falte el día de mañana. Um, el proceso de completar la encuesta de satisfacción lo vamos a realizar eh, creo que a mediación de la clase. Entonces en el primer bloque vamos a tener como un tiempo para repasar y perfeccionar cualquier detalle de su uh, final presentation que tenemos en parejas. ¿Verdad? Eh, recuerden que las presentaciones me las mandan a mí. ¿Verdad? Y yo les voy a hacer uh, aquí el favor de uh, estarles compartiendo mientras ustedes brillan, ¿Verdad? Having the presentation. Y aparte de eso, eh, necesito enseñarles algo porque esto es importante um, recalcar. Let me see. Eh, ¿Cómo van con sus tareas en la plataforma? Hello. I am finished, teacher. I am finished. Me faltan unas poquitas. A mí igual me faltan algunas. Bueno, yo sé, pero en realidad quiero felicitar a todo el grupo. Yo veo que han estado trabajando. Eh, muchos de ustedes ya han finalizado, en realidad, ¿verdad? Todas las prácticas, todas las tareas. Eh, traten de llenar todos esos gaps, como acá, Laurita. Eh, que tiene acá un 20, tenemos que levantar eso, porfa, para que le quede súper, súper bien su score. Eh, no sé si tienen alguna pregunta acá con estos, a esta página que les estoy mostrando de sus resultados. Tati está súper bien, veamos. Ah, pero me le falta la cuarta semana, que es la que estamos terminando, y luego de ahí, pues solo eso. Muy bien, y acá Ramón, bueno, Ramón ha estado trabajando a pesar de que se ha ausentado mucho. Y yo te and me. What's your name? Mario, Mario. Mario, 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 Mario. Mario Hernández. Aquí estás, Mario. No, hombre, Mario, tú ya pasaste. Aquí está, ve. A hundred, a hundred, a hundred dollars. And you, teacher. And me, teacher. And me, and he, teacher. You are and Esmeralda, me, right? Esmeralda. Yes. Trisha. Aquí está Esmeraldita. Oh, super. Ya tiene todo, Miss. Finish. Congratulations, Miss Santos. Muy buen trabajo. Very Thank nice. You, Gracias por usted, por su responsabilidad su compromiso acá con sus tareas. Eh, Douglas, estamos, Douglas, la cuarta semana y estamos ahí, ready. Edith. Teacher, and me, Irving Morán. Irving Morán. Ah, Irving Morán. Aquí está, Irving. Tenemos dos a hundred, a hundred. Aquí el 80 que tienes es de la tercera semana tercera semana, este lo tienes que eh, completar más, tratar de subirle y a la cuarta lo tenemos en nada entonces hay que trabajar la cuarta semana eh, son cinco tareas que tienes ahí pendientes ok ok teacher de la última no. semana uh -huh. let's do it my friend y traten de hacerlo lo antes posible por favor verdad porque acuérdense que examen escrito no van a tener, es simplemente un oral presentation que vamos a tener el día de mañana junto con uh, la encuesta de satisfacción y eso sería prácticamente en nuestra agenda. You have any okay, question? Then. Nothing, teacher. No questions. Okay, vámonos entonces. Attendance, let's check attendance, please. Let me know if you are in the house. Alex Enoch Ramirez Salazar. Douglas Humberto Sánchez Díaz. Edith Adilia Hernández Chacón. 
Edwin Alexis Rodriguez Cortez. Present teacher. Thank you, Edwin. Esmeralda Abigail Santos Amaya. Present teacher. Irving Joel Moran Gonzalez. Present teacher. Thank you. Josue Eduardo Gutierrez Alguero. Present teacher. Julio Cesar Caridad Valiente. Karen Elizabeth Ramos Aguilar. Sí estaba Karen, ¿verdad? Sí estaba. Ok. Uh, Lara Guadalupe Fuentes de Meléndez. Present. Marilena Linares Díaz. Present. Mario Alberto Hernández Vázquez. I am here. Awesome. Mónica Maricela Martínez Pineda. Present. Patricia Beatriz Bonilla López. Present teacher. Raymond Antonio Escoto Abarca. Roberto Antonio Ramírez González. Tatiana Vanessa Escobar Ortiz. Okie dokie, people. Thank you for your attention. I have, um, well, you have the authorization to go to bed, okay, Edwin? You can go to, to sleep and to rest, okay? <laughs> so on the graduation of basic module two, see you tomorrow for the final, final day, okay? Okay. Have a good See you night, tomorrow, everyone. Teacher. Goodbye. Bye bye. bye. See you tomorrow. See you later, alligators. Good night, teacher. Good, good night, night, everyone. God bless you. God bless everyone. Bye bye. <laughs>